Well, hey there, friends. It's your good buddy Uncle Ben here with a special Halloween surprise video. Those of you guys that watch my channel know that I do love me the Halloween season, and if you've ever listened to my horror movie review podcast, Dead and Lovely, you know that watching some seasonal and spooky flicks is a really important part of the entire Halloween season for me. I got a lot of requests from you guys to do a rundown of my favorite flicks to watch during the Halloween season, and I almost put that into my last episode of my FAQ series, but I decided against it. That way I could make a video solely devoted to some of my favorite flicks to watch during the Halloween season. Keep in mind this is not a list of my top 10 favorite scary movies or horror movies or whatever. Most of them on my list here aren't even scary. They're just the ones that I've absolutely got to watch every October and they're flicks that I really only watch right around the Halloween season. I watch you know horror flicks all year round, but these are the 10 flicks that I specifically like to watch during the Halloween season. So let's break down my 10 favorites in no particular order. Let's kick this thing off with an all-time jam, Ghostbusters from the year I was born, 1984. This is one of those ones I've always got to watch at least once every Halloween season. It's one of my all-time favorite movies ever. I've got the whole thing just about memorized by now. This is one of those rare flicks that really just knocks it out of the park in every category. It's got a great cast. It's super funny. It's got a great look. The soundtrack is freaking awesome. I love the Ghostbusters soundtrack. Great practical effects. You really can't complain about much anything with this one. In my opinion, it's a near-perfect movie. I watched a million times and I still laugh at it and I still love looking at the special effects and stuff. One of the all-time greatest flicks ever. I've got to watch that one every Halloween for sure. Another one I've always got to watch this time of year is Tim Burton's Sleepy Hollow from 1999. I feel like a lot of people didn't really get this movie. I think a lot of folks wanted it to be a straight-up horror movie, you know, a scary, brutal, gory, you know, horror flick. And it has elements of that. There's some gore in there. There's some spooky parts and everything. But really, it's a super, super dark comedy, and you got to take it as that. I really love the visuals in this movie especially. They really did a great job on all the sets and everything of making everything look super drab and gloomy and crappy all the way through. So I think just the visual style of this movie is the first thing that really pulls me into it. This movie's also got a really killer cast. It's got Christina Ricci. It's got Casper Van Dien from Starship Troopers. It's also got like half of the Harry Potter cinematic universe in this thing. And of course this movie also stars old Johnny Fuckoff Depo. Used to be so cool, man. You blew it. I think the first time that I watched it, I didn't really get it. You know, I watched it when it came out in like 99. And I remember thinking that was not what I was expecting it to be. Because I was expecting a horror movie. And it's kind of got this wacky, zany kind of edge to it. So I didn't really know what to expect the first time that I saw it. And I didn't like it. But the second time, knowing what I was getting into, I watched it as a really dark, you know, kind of morbid comedy, and I enjoyed it a whole lot more. Another one that we always watch every year without fail is The Addams Family from 1991. I watched this movie for the first time probably about 10 or 15 years ago, and I was just immediately blown away by how weird and dark and twisted a lot of the humor in the flick is. It's something that you can't really compare to any other comedies that you've ever seen because there's some stuff in there that is truly like heinously messed up but it's funny this movie's also got a really killer cast to it as well it's got christopher lloyd it also has christina ricci in it too raul julia and angelica houston really steal the show for me those two are just amazing on screen together it's got a great visual style it's also got a dope soundtrack featuring old mc hammer because it was 1991 and that's still relevant it's just a really, really cool flick, man. A again, I have a hard time thinking of any other flicks that are this dark and morbid and funny, but are still like rated PG and are family friendly and stuff. Really unique flick, always cracks me up. Gotta watch it every year. Next installment here is one that just became kind of a new tradition for me this year because I'd never seen it before, even though it's been out since 1987. It's The Monster Squad. I did not grow up watching this movie. Again, I just saw it for the first time this year. But whenever you watch it, it almost reads like a parody of an 80s kids Halloween movie. This movie is late 80s as all hell. It's really dumb. It features all the monsters. It's got Dracula and Wolfman and the Mummy and Frankenstein in it. It's just a really fun, stupid flick to turn on and turn your brain off and just kind of enjoy it and soak in the Halloween goodness. Another one I always have to watch is Trick or Treat from 2007. A lot of times people lump this movie into the horror anthology kind of genre along with like Creep Show and Tales from the Dark Side and stuff like that. But the way that this movie tells, you know, multiple small stories together is different than those flicks. This is almost more like, 
You could think of it like Pulp Fiction, where there's multiple stories going on, but they're all happening at the same time. And if you watch closely, they all kind of crisscross over each other and stuff. Really, really cool way to approach an anthology type flick. This movie's also got a really good cast. It's got Anna Paquin from True Blood in one of the stories. It's got a ton of character actors that you'd recognize in it. It's also got Thurman Merman from Bad Santa in there as just a little shitty kid. This movie's got some good blood and guts and gore spread throughout it. It's got great special effects, most of which are practical. There's kind of minimal CGI throughout this one, so I always enjoy that in a horror flick. It's also got some really great humor injected along the entire way, too. It's just a blast to watch. Another Halloween tradition I always got to do every year is to sit down and watch Paranorman from 2012. Paranorman is a stop-motion flick from the same people that brought you Coraline, so the animation is absolutely insane. This is one of those flicks, too, that I think I really appreciated much more after I watched the making of features that came on the DVD. The voice cast in this one is loaded, too. It's got Anna Kendrick, Casey Affleck is in there, America's Dad, Dan Connor, also known as John Goodman, does the voice in there. Really, really awesome casting. It's got some stuff in there that gets kind of dark and spooky, but it's mainly the incredible animation, art direction, and humor of this movie that make it a tradition for me every year. Paranormal's great. Can't recommend it enough. Another one of my all-time jams that I absolutely have to watch every year is Mel Brooks' classic Young Frankenstein from 1974. If you've never seen this flick, I genuinely feel bad for you, but at the same time, I'm kind of excited and happy for you because now you can go out and watch it for the first time and enjoy it like the rest of humanity. This is one of the best comedies of all time, one of Mel Brooks' best movies that he ever did too. Like a lot of other Mel Brooks' movies, the cast in this is absolutely awesome. It's got uh, Gene Wilder, Peter Boyle, Madeline Kahn, who is one of the most genius female comedians of all time ever. Uh, we started watching this flick years and years and years ago every time we get together with my in-laws and do our annual, you know, pumpkin carving every Halloween. So. For me, this is one of those warm and fuzzy flicks, but it's also just a completely, infinitely watchable and hilarious movie. Another one that I absolutely love watching every Halloween season is what is, in my opinion, the best vampire movie of all time, Bram Stoker's Dracula from 1992. To me, this movie is so good that you don't even notice Keanu Reeves' pretty bad performance throughout the entire thing. Of course, it doesn't exactly hurt that he's surrounded by incredible actors the entire time, like Gary Oldman, who plays Dracula, and Anthony Hopkins, who plays... Van Helsing. This movie is so awesome that it even has Tom freaking Waits in it playing Renfield. You can't really get a whole lot more awesome than that. But at the same time, this is one of those flicks that I understand not exactly everybody getting into. It's got this really, you know, weird, dreamy kind of feel to it. It can be really, I don't know, melodramatic and stuff in some parts, but I love the entire thing. I totally dig, you know, again, that kind of dreamy vibe that you get from this and a lot of other like European horror flicks like Suspiria and stuff like that. And kind of like what I said about Paranorman, after I watched the you know special making of featurette and stuff about this flick, it made me appreciate it even more. They went out of their way in such painstaking detail to make sure that all the special effects and stuff in this, um, save for one or two parts, could have been done in like 1920. Everything is super old school camera tricks and film tricks and stuff like that. So when you watch this movie, keep in mind, everything that you're seeing is real, with only one or two small exceptions. It's got an absolutely incredible soundtrack, unbelievable visuals. I mean, this movie, you could put it on mute and just sit there and just watch it and be entertained. Really, really, really fascinating flick. I freaking love it. Always got to watch this one every year. The next one on my list here is one of those ones that's just another great, goofy, kind of kids Halloween movie, but I love watching Hocus Pocus every year. I love this movie. I know a lot of people hate it and think that it's stupid, and it's one of those that probably if you didn't grow up watching it, you might not like it. But actually, I started watching this flick as an adult, and I love it. It's really dumb. It's super, super corny. It's just a, you know, Disney, family-friendly... Halloween kind of flick. This movie was made in 1993 and it definitely looks and feels like it. It is early 90s as all get out, which is probably part of the appeal for me because that's when I was a kid, so whenever I watch this, it kind of reminds me of being a young Uncle Ben. It's got a great cast, Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, tons of other people. It seems like everybody working on the flick had an absolute blast doing it and it really comes through on the screen too, so I always enjoy seeing that in a flick, especially kind of a more light-hearted one like Hocus Pocus. And for my last entry here, I've got to go with John Carpenter's immortal classic from 1978, Halloween. Now, earlier when I said that these are all flicks that I watch specifically this time of year, that's kind of a lie because I will sit down and watch Halloween with anybody 
any time, regardless of what time of year it is. This is one of my favorite horror flicks of all time and just one of my favorite movies ever, period. It's by no means particularly gory or scary or anything like that by today's standards, but you gotta understand, this is the movie that put slasher flicks on the map. And without this, you never would have seen, you know, a Friday the 13th or an Elm Street or anything like that. I've watched this movie a million times and I keep waiting to, you know, put it on and get tired of it or be like, that wasn't as good as I remembered but it just doesn't happen year after year. Really amazing visuals and soundtrack by old John Carpenter himself. Awesome performances by Jamie Lee Curtis and a bunch of other people in it. Iconic, that's the only word I can think of for this movie. This is just an iconic flick that I think everybody should sit down and enjoy every October. And I know some of you guys are sitting there going, where the hell was Nightmare Before Christmas on that list? That's easy. That's got elements of Halloween. That's got elements of Christmas. You watch it right in between the two of them. That there is a November movie, kids. So there you go, guys. Something a little bit different from my channel. No guitar involved today. But hopefully I introduced you guys to some cool flicks so you can make part of your own traditions every year. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Ben Eller Guitars. And if you're a horror movie fan, be sure to check out my podcast, Dead and Lovely, over on iTunes and SoundCloud. Thanks so much for watching, and happy Halloween. Cheers, guys.